I want to stay on this crisis in Pakistan. And my next guest just got back from the country last week. Mahmoud Kisim is the CEO of IDRF Canada, a humanitarian aid organization that's been providing assistance on the ground in Pakistan. And he is joining me now from Toronto. Good evening to you. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being here. And I understand that you just got back from Pakistan not long ago. Can you describe for me what you saw there and just how dire the situation is? Yes, uh, the, the, the situation is extremely dire. Um, I recall uh, traveling in Balochistan and for miles and miles, all you see is, you know, completely flat grounds where there once were homes. And uh, this is the scene that you see across all the different districts. Uh, I was there for two weeks traveling from different uh, parts of Balochistan and Sin, and uh, this scale of devastation is far beyond what Pakistan experienced even in 2010, and um, it, it is a major crisis at this point. Are there any specific stories that are sticking out to you? Any people that you came across while you were there helping to dole out this relief uh, that, that you know, you're thinking about now, even though you're back here in Toronto? Yes, uh, I met this one mother um, who was holding a baby, or I thought she was the mother. Uh, and after we spoke to her, she said, no, this is actually the child of my sister-in-law who was washed away from the floods. and." Uh, she was also five months pregnant uh, and, you know, she was pulled away by a 10 foot surge. Uh, and these are stories that we heard from every village that we went to where children, elderly, mothers, fathers uh, who have lost their loved ones. Uh, and, and it's really heart wrenching when you're there uh, listening to these stories and trying to provide the, the aid that you can. But you obviously cannot bring back their loved ones who are, uh, you know, facing these uh, devastating uh, effects on their families. What kind of help were you providing there for folks? So IDRF, which is a international development and relief uh, organization right now in our phase one, uh, we're dealing with the acute uh, situation of providing them with food, shelter, because many of them, over 33 million people are, are impacted by this. Uh, and they're living on roadsides, they're living as close as they can to areas that people can access, come through and give them food rations, uh, prepared meals if they don't have any of their um, supplies that they can cook. We're providing them with uh, water filtration units uh, because, you know, the water situation and sewage mixed with the water is causing a lot of waterborne diseases. Uh, we're also providing them with temporary shelters uh, and also hygiene kits for males and females so that they have these basic needs. And then as we are a development organization, uh, over the long term, as we did in the 2010 floods, we'll continue to do so with this as well, is to help build proper homes for them so they can have brick and mortar homes uh, that can withstand this weather and monsoon and the effects of this climate change that's impacting Pakistan so severely. Well, and Canada, of course, announced that it is going to provide $5 million in funding in an effort to help scale up the humanitarian response there on the ground. What do you think of this level of support? Yeah, while well, we're very appreciative of uh, the Canadian government stepping forward and, uh, and offering $5 million, uh, the devastation is at large scale. And, you know, this is one Earth, one planet. And we all have to work together. Uh, today, we released an open letter urging the government to increase the support as the devastation is far beyond what the government gave in 2010, which was around $33 million. So I, I know the need is going to be great. Uh, and we appreciate what the Canadian government has done. But the scale and magnitude of this crisis requires that we do more. Even after the water starts to recede, what are your concerns for the country in the long term? Well, Pakistan is already facing major economic crisis. Uh, inflation is at all-time high. Uh, many of the people that we met were jobless for months, and now they were affected by uh, even further weather conditions that have made it hard for them to have any source of income. So over the long term, millions of people who in one side on the province of Balochistan, who have lost over 80% of their livestock. And on the other side, on Sindh, where they've lost over 60, 70% of their, um, their farming lands, there's going to be a shortage of food uh, and shortages of uh, income generation that a lot of these people are reliant on. So the crisis from the economic side is going to be great. 
but also as the water subsides, we know the impacts of waterborne diseases uh, increase and uh, the medical side of things is also going to need a lot of attention in the coming months uh, ahead. Mahmoud, thank you so much for joining us on the program tonight. I'm sure that trip must have been very grueling, but it's excellent to have you on the program to have that look at what it was like inside the country there. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Mahmoud Kisum is the CEO of IDRF Canada.